And now to some significant updates coming out of Galveston County regarding the Santa Fe High School shooting. A new judge presiding over the case has just ordered an independent evaluation of the competency of the accused shooter Demetrios Pogorchis, and the judge wants to revisit the decision to move the trial out of Galveston County. KPRC 2 investigator Robert Arnold live in Galveston County and Robert, this case has been stalled for years. Now it seems some progress is being made for the victims families. It's been in limbo since 2019 and Judge Jeff Jones ordered an independent evaluation of Demetrios Pogorci's competency despite doctors at North Texas State Hospital telling the court he remains incompetent to stand trial. Uh, it's this court's opinion that the defense counsel is misreading the statute. The hearing was brief and at times tense. I not particularly care how many experts you want to throw at me. Judge Jeff Jones ordered UTMB Director of Mental Health Services, Joseph Penn, to conduct an independent competency evaluation on Demetrios Pogorchis, who was charged with murdering eight classmates and two educators during a mass shooting at Santa Fe High School in 2018. However, the case stalled in 2019 when Pogorchis was declared incompetent to stand trial in Santa to North Texas State Hospital to have his competency restored. It appears they failed at this point. Galveston County District Attorney Jack Rohde has no problems with the outside evaluation. We've got confidence in Vernon State Hospital. They are the state mental health hospital, and that's their business is to restore defendants to competency. However, uh, if the court wants to bring in another expert to evaluate that, we welcome that. Defense Attorney Nick Pale questions the order, saying he has more than 8,600 pages of medical records showing Pogorchis is still incompetent and was recommitted to the hospital just last month. As a threshold matter, we're not opposed to him being evaluated as many times as anybody wants, but the fact is that at Vernon, he has been subject to evaluation over and over and over again. Family members are cautiously optimistic, knowing an independent evaluation could lead to the same result in the case going nowhere. No one should be having to ride this roller coaster. It's not the life you imagine living. Scott Rice tells KPRC2 his wife Flo was critically wounded during the shooting. Rhonda Hart's daughter, Kimberly Vaughn, was killed, and she said she's tired of waiting for answers. We're coming up on five years. We're like, okay, we're sick of this. Let's just cut the crap and let's just get to it. The judge set a 30-day de deadline for this evaluation to be complete and a report provided to the court. The judge will then have another hearing to discuss the findings. So what impact this order may have on the case and whether the case may move forward is still unknown. The judge also sent a little bit of a shockwave through the court when he told attorneys that he does want to revisit the decision to move the trial out of Galveston County to Fort Bend County, but he then said that he would have that discussion on another day. Reporting live from Galveston, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News. Robert, thank you. If you were signed up to get our click to push notifications, you were one of the first to know this would happen. KPRC2 investigates learned yesterday that the judge would ask for an independent party to evaluate competency, and 24 hours later, he made that ruling.